I'm going to show you how to integrate 1 over 3x plus 2. And a lot of people will tell you the answer is just equal to ln absolute value of 3x plus 2. And yes, then remember the plus c, but no, this is not the correct answer. This is why. We will take a u sub real quick, let u equal to 3x plus 2, and then differentiating both sides, we'll get du is equal to 3dx. Now, I would like to divide the 3 on both sides. You will see that dx is equal to du over 3, and then we can take this integral to the u world. You will get the integral of 1 over u, and then dx is equal to du over 3. And you see we have the 1 third, so we can put that to the front, so we have 1 third right here. And then integral 1 over u in the u world. And you see this is just going to be 1 third, and the integral 1 over u is natural log. And then absolute value, and u is equal to 3x plus 2. And then don't forget the plus c, of course. So as you can see, the person will just miss the 1 third. Common mistake. That's it. I'm going to show you how to integrate x times e to the x squared. For this, we can just do u sub, let u equal to x squared, and then differentiating both sides, we'll just get du is equal to 2x dx. And I want to show you guys the cancellation. So let me divide the 2x on both sides. We will get dx is equal to du over 2x. And now we can take this integral to the u world, and you'll see. This right here is equal to the integral, and then we have the x still right here, and then this is e, and the x squared is u, and then dx is the same as du over 2x, and now you see the x and x cancel out, we have the one half multiple, so just take that to the front, and then we have to integrate e to the u in the u world, but the integral of e to the u in the u world is just e to the u, so here we have one half, e to the u, but u is equal to x squared, so we can just put that down right here, and then we are done, just add a plus c, and that's it. I will show you how to integrate cotangent x, and to do this, we'll just change cotangent into cosine over sine, so we have the integral of cosine x over sine x, and for this, we can just do a u sub, let u equal to sine x, so let's go ahead and write that down right here, and differentiate both sides, we get du is equal to cosine x dx, and as you can see, this right here is precisely our du, so you can take this integral to the u world right away, and you see this is just the integral of 1 over sine x is the u, and that's the du, so integrate this, we get ln absolute value of u, u is sine x, so just put that down, and we are pretty much done, but don't forget the plus c, so write that down right here, and we are done.